have a little shopping problem. I like to buy stuff. I like to buy clothes, jewelry. First, we need to find out why do you like it. I, I like swag. But you got such a swaggy face, you don't need all those things. <laughs> I look, I think when you think about money, the biggest thing is it's more than okay to buy nice things. It's not okay to buy nice things when you can't afford them. Dylan, you got this? All right, three, two. What's up, it's your boy Young Dylan and he, we are here with... Gary V. And Mia V. And today, we're gonna ask him some questions. We're gonna, all of us are gonna ask each other questions in this big bowl of slime. It's really yeah. so cool. Let's start. I'll okay, go first. you're gonna go first? Ugh, Here we go. Please. I like the color of this slime. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so what does the Super Bowl mean to you? The Super Bowl for me personally, as a diehard New York Jets fan, means it's something I'm desperate, and I mean desperate, to get to one day. I've, re I've been a fan of the Jets since 1982, long before you two Your were- parents were born. Exactly. That year. Think about that. Think about how long I've been wanting this, and the Jets have never gotten to the Super Bowl. We've been to four AFC Championship games, the game right before the Super Bowl, and we've lost every one of them in my life. So for me, the Super Bowl represents the ultimate dream as a diehard fan. I love to hear that. How about you, Mia? You know, I just like to go to the Super Bowl with my family, and we just sit there and watch the game. It's a big event, like a big event that I've been to. So I'm really honored to be there, and I just like to sit there and watch the game with my family and enjoy the oh, rap. I love that. I love that. Okay, Mia? Oh. Getting in the slime. Getting in there. Okay. All right, Mia. As you, as you can before someone notices. What's that mean? I don't know. As you can before someone notices. Maybe it's like a trick question. I feel tricked. I feel Let's get another one. Yeah. Let's get another one. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right, I got two, but okay. what are you most scared of? I am most scared of the people that I love the most being sick. Oh, that true, is scares true. me. That, that and snakes. <laughs> oh yeah, snakes. Are snakes scare the crap out of me. Cause nah, they can hide rat. anywhere. Rat. Yeah, and they're just like they're unpredictable, and they bother me. <laughs> How about you? My dog. Your dog scares you. Your own dog. Oh, hold on. Let, let me explain. So my dog, he. It, he cannot get away from my parents. Like he loves to lay on them. So that means I can't get any love from my parents because he's trying to protect them. Like he doesn't let me. Oh, like that? Yes, like that type of dog, you feel me? So are you afraid of your dog? Or are you afraid of your dog taking your spot? Mm. Oh, hold on. So like, and, and, and like you said, I'm predictable. And sometimes he sneakily like tries to <laughs> get at me. Like he'll like, I'll be on the couch with my mother and he'll just look at me. So I'm like, I know that's fair. I'm ready to run away. Then he just. Gets going. Uh, yeah, gets, gets going. Because he doesn't want me to be around my parents. And you're right. I, I am afraid that he's going to take my spot. Because I'm getting <laughs> a little bit older. And he's the baby. So. The baby's always scary. How about for you? Um, I'm afraid when I watch a scary movie and then I go to bed. I, I always watch scary movies before bed. I don't really know why. And then I go to bed and I hear noises. Like my house starts moving. Oh. And I don't really know what the noises are from. And it doesn't really happen on the nights where I just go to bed normally. It always happens on the night when I watch scary movies. You may want to cut down on those scary movies a little bit. Not yeah, real rad. Okay. <laughs> My turn. turn. All right, here we go. Here we go. Man, the, the iconic slime. This yeah. is a real honor. All right, here we go. Who's on your playlist? Okay. Oh. Mm. What do you think, Mia? Uh, I think... I don't really know. I have a lot of people on my playlist. Like the most random artists I've never heard before. Like if I pulled up a random song from my playlist and you played it, I probably you may know, the know the name for the artist. <laughs> How about you? Be adding songs. Yeah. Okay. So what you'll see on my playlist is a bunch of Drake. Big Drake fan. Big Drake fan. Uh, Kendrick, Jay Z, and um, that hip hop life. Yeah, yeah. I, lo I love it. I love it. And some SZA. You know, I be getting in my feels sometimes. So I, <laughs> I gotta listen to some scissor to get over my feels, you feel me? So. Speaking, of, speaking of feels, I'm listening to Hungry Eyes from Dirty Dancing on repeat like crazy right now. And speaking about hip hop, I'm playing a ton of Polo G right now. Oh, Polo G oh, is all in oh, my playlist. Oh. <laughs> 
I love Don't sleep, kids. Don't, don't, don't sleep, kids. Don't sleep on them, man. I love to hear it. I love to see it, and I, I love, love to hear it. too. I can yeah. hear it in the shower. They mm -hmm. got to sing along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that piano, man. Uh, this is yuck. Okay. All right. Uh, what's your favorite sport and why? My favorite sport is football to watch. My favorite sport to play are two sports right now. I've finally gotten back into basketball. I broke my foot like four years ago Ooh. playing basketball, and so I was off of it for a minute, but I'm really back. I played yesterday for a couple hours. It feels good. I'm also playing pickleball. What's that? Pickleball, pickleball is exploding. It is kind of like tennis meets ping pong, and it's an exploding sport, and I, I think you two need to pick it up. Yeah, I'm like a yeah, I'm gonna definitely look that player. up. Are you? Yeah. Oh, you are? That's up. <laughs> and do you play a little tennis? Yeah, I play tennis. You, you should really, really, really pay attention to pickleball. You would love it. All right, I'll All right. try it out. What about you, Mia? I think I love volleyball. I mean, it feels like a crime to not say football, yeah. but I love volleyball. I play it um, back in my hometown, and I love it. I mean, For me, I was six, because I'm, I'm a big, big football fan. But besides football, I'm really good at soccer. Mm. And yeah, soccer. I'll say soccer. Um, you know, I like Neymar. Yeah, I Neymar's a beast. So yeah, I'm really good at that. And um, you know, I just love watching highlights of football players because like they got amazing strength and feet. The dribble moves are insane. It's just so crazy to see and watch it. I agree. TV. It's a great sport. Do I pull another one? Or yep. you go. Ladies All first. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. If you weren't playing football, what would you be doing? Spending time with my family. I love like having dinners with fam. Yeah. Uh, I love working. I'm very fortunate. The biggest thing that I wish for the two of you, besides good health, is that as you get older, you just enjoy what you're doing. So many yeah. people settle and do things that they don't love. So I'd be working, be with my family. Those two things stand out. How about you, my man? Um, for me, same, for real. Just um, making sure my family's safe. You know, I also want to be example for kids, not even yeah. my family. I really just, all the kids. Yeah, all the kids. Really, I just want to be example. Spread a good and, message. Yeah, spread a good message. And when I'm not on this earth, I want people to still remember me. I love that. Wants that legacy life. Real rap. I respect that. All right, let's get one more in here. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Last question. What Nick character do you think is the best at football? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Is it bad that I'll say Nate or me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say Nate though, because uh, Nate, yeah. That's, that's a good answer. I mean, I don't really know what I'd answer with. I think that, oh, this is a true question. Nah, true definitely. Question. Um, you know, there was this one episode in SpongeBob, <laughs> that really strong worm, that big bulky one that they had to fight oh, on. That one would destroy the whole field. I mean. I think that definitely. I love the I don't know what it was called. For me, I'm much older than y'all. So when Nick first hit the scene, Mr. Wizard was this real science character that I think actually was really crafty and I think would put together the best game plan and win oh, in oh. football. So Google that because you definitely have yeah, no idea what I'm saying. Right? I know that. Real. I know <laughs> that, but I'm trying to keep it real with the audience. And they, some of us, I see the smiles back there. We remember the OG days of Nick. So. Thank you for having me, guys. No problem. Yeah, thank you. But, uh oh. Between you and us, are you really trying to buy the Jets? I'm really trying to buy the Jets. I love to see it. I love to see it. I love to see it, but thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Such yeah. a little slime. Uh -huh. Love you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>